I farted in front of Kim. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm Base Bear. Yeah, hey. I am Old Lady Bear over there. I'm Neo. We're straight at. Yeah, I see. I she see like, the old lady. She's like trying to avoid us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting closer. I thought he said they were fucking oh. undead, ru ruling, running over the city. In Dunwich. And shit. Oh, Dunwich. Yeah. So we gotta head south. Apparently. Okay. Base Bear. Yes. You've got to fuck a great many women. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alright, but. <laughs> Beautiful women. Fuck, is it over there? Shit. And oh, write, they fixed the bridge, that's right. And write a few decent love poems. Uh, excuse me, I write amazing love poems. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. Let me stick it in your pooper. Says you. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry about age. Or, you know, and or freshly arrived talents. Just drink more beer. Oh my god. <laughs> more and more beer. <laughs> <laughs> when you're drunk, everyone looks hot. <laughs> God damn it. And attend the racetrack at least once a week. Why? Oh my. And win. This is Bukowski! <laughs> <laughs> if possible. Oh, it's not. That's all he did was drink, fuck, and go to racetracks. <laughs> I know Bukowski, I did a fucking paper on him. God. I hate you. Learning to win is hard. I hate you. <laughs> is this the any, problem any, any slob can be a good loser. No, fuck, continue. <laughs> I know you want to. No, what? Continue. I don't know what you're talking about. Ow! What are you? Lobster head? And don't forget your brums and your bock and your oh beer. Alright. Here, read this. What? <laughs> Top 10 questions. Teenagers ask about sex. Alright. Okay, so I found this thing in my mom's room. You gave called... me a pamphlet with weird questions in yeah, it. Yeah, and it says top ten questions teenagers ask about sex. Okay. And I looked at it, and I was like, that looks weird. And I didn't think about it, and I went to my room, and I was laying there thinking about it, and I was like, what if it could be funny? And I got <laughs> up to go check it, and oh my god, it is so funny. <laughs> Alright, first question. How far is too far? I don't know, like, if it's a four-hour drive, I'm not down to drive that far to fuck someone. <laughs> I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> How far is too far? Males are stimulated differently than females. All right, I'm closing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets better. Keep reading. Trust me. A behavior like French kissing will lead a guy to become sexually aroused, but a girl will simply feel more affection towards him. <sighs> <laughs> you should avoid anything that could lead you into this arousal zone. What? Why would you avoid? This is great. Oh. <laughs> it's by looking at their picture, right? <laughs> They're religious. Keep, yeah, keep reading, though. Fuck, where, how do I get over there? What the fuck? Okay. Things like drugs, alcohol, French kissing, prolonged kissing, and petting. And petting. Like this. And petting. Like this. And <laughs> petting. Petting. That's a good boy! Let's my dick. And petting. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing how far to go means understanding that men have a higher sex drive and women a higher love drive. Oh. My. Fucking. God. It gets so much better. What is the antithesis of misogyny? <laughs> I gotta look that up. It gets so much better, guys. There's only one one section in there that actually is, like, fine. Opposite and it's number four. Of so, like, that's not a big deal. But, like, the rest of it, it's so funny. Opposite of misogyny. Why do I keep fucking going here? Uh... Is it is it really only applicable to what the fuck? Uh oh, I can I can go through here. Misandry? <laughs> oh shit! Fucking snakes, bro! Whoa! <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's keep. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> the snakes weren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it also means knowing that using drugs and alcohol will impact sexual behavior because they deaden the conscious and heighten the passions. <laughs> Setting boundaries Sorry. and no trespassing zones are essential to staying pure while dating. No trespass. Staying pure. Dead in the while conscience. My dating. conscience is already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need alcohol oh for that. Oh my god. How do I say no? If your answer to this is anything other than using the sounds with your mouth to say no, you're a fucking idiot. Read, dude. Everybody has three types of- You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, read it. <laughs> fucking tr read that shit. How do I say no? Okay, everybody has three types of language. Verbal, body, and what you wear. When it comes to saying no in a dating relationship, your words, your body, and your clothes all must be saying it. I think I found Dunwich. I found Dunwich. <sighs> if you are saying no, but wearing a yes, 
then your no becomes a maybe. That's so fucking fucked up. <laughs> Cthulhu and Umi and Sharp arrive at the city <laughs> of Dunwich and discover that it is indeed infested with undead monsters as far as the eye can see. Let's kick some zombie butt. We can we can do this. Let's give these unholy monstrosities their desserts. <laughs> <laughs> their desserts. <laughs> Have some cake. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, please. A zombie is a noble creature, free of sanity, enjoying every whim that comes to it. Although we may have to kill some zombies to free this town, I will not authorize killing you more than is needed. Do you hear me? Um, okay. Sharing mercy even to monsters? Perhaps I have misjudged you. <laughs> All right. I just like insane things. Is that not a problem? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Onward to save the city and the zombies. Oh, shit. That's cool. Oh, that does look pretty neat. Uh, word of the day, and then we'll continue with a wonderful pamphlet God I brought to you. Damn it. Word of the day is fucking parochial. They have cars? The zombies have cars! What? We're fucked! Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, the word of the day is parochial. What's it mean, Nia? I think I'm gonna burp. Oh, okay. Thanks. Of or relating of or relating to a church parish. What is it? What is a parish? <laughs> uh, the parochial church council. Alright, let me look up that other word real quick before I can explain what this word means. God. Umi's fucking weak, Oh. Oh, it's like Shit, a council. Shit, they're all weak. Okay, oh, yeah. fuck. A parish is a small administrative district typically having its own church and a priest or pastor. Okay, so... Um... So... The parochial church council... Okay. Um... Administered this top ten questions teenagers ask about sex pamphlet. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and as a result, they continue to be the laughing stock of society. This was printed in 2006, by the way, which will become very apparent on number, like, nine. <laughs> okay. Anyways, holy shit. Oh, cool. Safe spot. Oh, man. All right. Adventure is coming to San Let's do it. Raise the heavens. You want to make your way to the eastern part of the city. As with the creature that started this whole mess is. The creature that started this whole mess? Did you get a good look at it? It was an unholy and ugly monstrosity, very chaotic and crawling about. And y'all did, did. My what? old Devis. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that should be a fun fight. No, y'all are Fuck that. This should be a fun fight. Great. Since you're always so fucking adamant about correcting me. What is in your house, bro? <laughs> 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 damn it. Fuck. Get him. Uh, I'm trying to see which ones are. Okay. What the fuck? enjoys a good sausage. I haven't watched any of your fights. What can Sharp do? I enjoy a good sausage. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like dick in my mouth. It's gay, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well aware. <laughs> just I'm not gay. I just really like dick in my mouth. Oh, well, okay. As long as you're, as long as you're not gay again. As long as you say no homo, because, you know, that that wards off the homosexuality. Full homo, I like dick in my mouth. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. All right. Hopefully that didn't fed anyone. <laughs> Dude, 100% homo. I really want dick in my mouth and asshole, but I'm not gay. Well, as long as you're not gay. Because <laughs> then you would go to hell, apparently. God. He can do Tempest and Brave Wind, so he farts. Anyways, he does the farts. Um, Fuck, these are not that strong. What am I, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm reading this. Yeah, number two. I think you finished that one. Uh... Oh, it, it becomes a maybe, that's right. The simple fact is that a guy is more visually stimulated than a girl and will be more affected by how she dresses. When you are getting ready for your next date, remember this. The more you show, the harder it is to say no. What the fuck? Both of you should speak, act, and dress in ways that show respect for each other. You hear that, girls? Don't dress like a slut. Oh, look, she didn't fucking listen. <laughs> <laughs> None of them did. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't be like these girls. <laughs> God. Give me a B, give me an R. Okay, 2006? Like, that's still too recent to be this fucking stupid. Dude. And, like, to be honest, this is pretty dangerous. Like, if you were to keep, give this to a girl, like, me, yeah. Dude. It gets so much worse. This is pretty dangerous to, like, spread as information. The simple fact. I love that they said the simple fact. The <laughs> this simple, is a fact. Yeah, like, are you serious? All right. What if I never marry? This is number three. Does that mean you will never experience a sexual relationship? Life is about choices, and not everyone chooses to get married. Some people choose to remain single. A sexual relationship belongs only in marriage where a man and a woman have made a lifelong commitment to each other and are open to the gift of children. Yet neither of these life choices is better than the other. Yeah, when You're, I read that I knew it was fucking like religious. <laughs> <laughs> your life choice should be the one that best meets your goals and aspirations. 
<laughs> I love how that last that last sentence is the only um like I one. can't leave my flock even if they have all been turned into mindless shambish. <laughs> that that last sentence is the only thing that makes sense and it completely refutes the entire paragraph <laughs> for it. God damn it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna continue this pamphlet in the next episode. Oh, the game, I fucking guess. god damn it. Bye! Later.